What's up guys, Zane here, and welcome back to another Final Fantasy XIV video. In this video, I want to cover um, favored favors and concealed nodes. Now, here I am in Idleshire next to the Splendors vendors. So once you uh, collected some uh, gather scripts, you want to come over to the script exchange. Go to blue gather script exchange. Go to others and buy yourself some um some arena tokens now since i already have some you walk over here to the splendors vendor you go to field craft items and here you have an options of picking from corthus hinterlands forelands turning mist and the sea of clouds for minor and for botanist now i already went ahead and bought some for the hinterlands and for the and, uh, and the four lands for botanist and miner. Now, the ones in the hinterlands and the one in the four lands are used to get uh, leather worker uh, materials. So I'm gonna take you guys to the nodes and hinterlands, and in the four lands, to show you what you'll be collecting. Now, these favors can only be used on level 60 no on nodes and uh, lush patches, so keep that in mind. It will not work on any other ones. It has to be level 60. Now, favors only give you a 5 minutes of, of gathering, so... We're going to need to um, use as much time as we possibly can get. Now, when this first came out, we were given 15 minutes, but the spawn rate of the concealed nodes were very low. Alright, here we are at level 60 in my miner deposit. What you want to do is go over to your uh, favor, make sure it's the right one, and you activate it. Now, in order for the concealed nodes to pop, you need to drain the level 60 uh, deposits first. Whatever you choose to gather is up to you. I would go with um, hard silver ore if it's available. If not, go for crystals. All right. We got one to pop. Now this is all these uh, these concealed nodes pop on RNG. There's no uh, guarantee that they're gonna pop or when. So here we have the blue ood that will always will drop no matter what. So you collect that, and you do not collect the other ones. That's the one thing people did not realize that you don't have to collect them to uh, spawn the next one. They will automatically replace the old concealed node with a new one. Please keep that in mind. So, let's gather again in the next node. And there we go. There is proof. You do not need to drain the concealed node for the pop the next one. Okay. Now, the, uh, the uh, hidden rare would be the blue round stones. And these ones will give you the high quality version of the materials that you'll get when you pass these in. what you get and get the heck out now I do want to point out that you cannot use the um, you cannot use the uh, King's yield or bountiful bountiful harvest you cannot and will not they will not let you use them just please keep that in mind as well don't waste your GP Get what you need and get out. Now, since the update, the automatically you are automatically um, given at least one concealed node. All right, we have about two more two more minutes left to this uh, the favor. 
and then I'll switch over to the Forelands and do it for Botanist and show you where the area to get those are. One minute left, so let's try to get as much as we can. Oh, well, that's not wrong node. <laughs> I thought the new one Papa was just the old one. Doing favors is the best way to farm crystals and other materials without really realizing you're doing it. Kind of like tricking the mind. <laughs> so if you're if you're low on crystals, just do favors. Then by the time you're done with them, you'll be swimming in crystals, and you don't even realize it. Alright, we have 58 seconds of counting to go until this uh, fever ends. Oh, we got another note to pop. Let's go over and grab it before the time ends. Oh, by the way, also, concealed uh, minor deposits will not disappear. If the favor is gone, it will not disappear. It will only disappear when you drain it all the way. Also, I want to make that point, too. Now, since we're not going to have enough time to uh, respawn a node, we're just going to finish and collect the, cr the clusters. This is the only time you should be draining... Uh, the concealed nodes at the end of a favor. Alright, so let's go over to uh, the Forelands and uh, show you the botanist. You wanted to uh, teleport to Annex Trine because that's where the uh, level 60 nodes will be. Now this is for your the new pl the new players that just got into Heaven's Ward. For all you old players, you can easily do this also to make money. You now people will pay, will pay big bucks um, for uh, these materials, and depending on your server, and you can always make the old uh, blue gear and sell it as well. A lot of people don't realize that that old stuff will sell better now that people are ignoring them. All right, so now we'll activate the uh, botanist one. Same rules apply. Nope. So we go to the next one. Watch out for mobs. Make sure you have your stealth on. One pop, so let's go over and grab it. Over here we have blade leaves. You trade these and the... Uh, oh, we got nothing on that one. And nothing again. This is... Alright, there it goes. It's living proof that 5% can get nothing. You can still get nothing with only 5% chance. I was saying, oh yeah, 
Um, you pass in the ouds and the blade leaves into the uh, Splendor's Vendor to get normal, normal quality versions of odor, odorless animal fat. That is used to make the uh, griffin leather. To get high high quality versions of odorless animal fat, you'll need uh, those blue round stones and the uh, sword leaves that is the uh, hidden rare in the forelands. Now I do need want to point out that you do not need high quality to pass them in. You, you can pretty much uh, lower the quality to normal quality because that's what you're really that's what you'd be needing. So if you get high quality by accident, don't worry, you can lower it anytime you want. Oh, there's another one. Aha! So here's the sword leaves that will be. Uh, uh, hidden so you want to grab that and you want to grab the bleed leaves and get out so those are the uh, items you'll be needing to uh, trade in for the uh, materials so once this note is done I will see you guys in Idleshire okay so here we are back in Idleshire so you want to come over here with your Splendor's Vendor and you want to go to uh, trade craft items and here you have all the items and you can trade in so what we have let's see here you'll be needing a, a Warina's uh, um, token with uh, for crafters which you can uh, go over to the uh, script exchange and for blue crafter scripts over here I don't really have any to trade in so I can't really do that but over here is where you uh, you get them and you come over here and you uh, trade wherever you uh, collected which I would have the uh, the blue ouds over here and the three uh, blade leaves and you would get a set of 15 odorless animal fats and you only it takes five animal fats to make one uh, leather and the high quality version you can see is um, you only get five the normal quality you get 15 but the normal one the high quality you get five and you need to trade in three blue uh, brown stones and three sword leaves to get the high quality ones now for you that are already past this point you can usually do with normal quality but if you're just starting out you want to uh, strive for those high quality ones it'll be a lot easier to uh, craft the uh, the blue gear which is um, believe in the heavens Lord one nope it's in two I believe uh, that's where set where's uh well, never mind. That's the wrong class. Um, uh, no, that's not armor. Um, leather worker will have them. Sorry about that. So we have. Let's see here. Where is it? Where is it? No, oh, it's in Heaven's Ward One. My bad. <laughs> it's been a while. Forgive me. Okay, for leather worker we have. Uh, the Hammer Master's uh, Waist Apron. This is the 170 gear. Two star. We have the Hide Master's Apron. We have all the gloves. As you can see, it needs Griffin Leather to make them. There's all the gloves. And here are the boots. And you also have the... Uh, Accessories for the uh, gatherer So the 170 gear is what those uh, items will will go towards to make These um, Probably you can well probably not sell too well But if you can get people to buy them 
that that's good money. But it's, it's you know they're there if you're, in case you're bored of making new stuff. You want to make old stuff, you know. It's very easy. I'm pretty sure the ouds and the blade leaves and other equivalent ones are cheap on the market board because no one cares about them. <clears throat> so, that's how you guys um, take advantage of your favors. Make sure to use that trick next time you're doing them. So, uh, yeah. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Please uh, like if you liked it. Uh, please leave a comment with your um, ideas. For my next for the next video, if you guys want to see something, uh, let me know. I'll be happy to make it if I can. Make sure you share it with your other friends who just started uh, Heaven's Ward and will like to uh, start getting into end game uh, crafting. And I will uh, see you guys in the next one. So until then, take care.